Tell us about your different experiences <laughs> dating athletes. Let's start with you, Kayla. Um, well, I dated someone in the NFL for mm -hmm. a little over a year, mm -hmm. um, back when I was single. Mm -hmm. And um, it, was, it was a lot. It was definitely good, fun times. He was very charming, mm -hmm. very romantic. Um, we did a lot of dating, a lot of trips, a lot of gifts. <laughs> um, and then you you know it was it goes downhill after a while you know so it was pretty much up and down was the courting process just better than the relationship pretty much mm -hmm. it was like a honeymoon for the first like three four months mm -hmm. and then it was like dealing with drama the groupies mm -hmm. and all that after that camilla was your experience similar yes very similar um i was a player myself so i felt <laughs> like I had my, you know, athletes, but I also was like still talking to other people. But oh, I you mean, were, oh, you were, you had them in rotation. Yes, you're, like, you're starting five. I'm like, what sports you play? Oh, okay, you was a player, player. I was playing ball. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, I was young, you know, and I was an attractive woman, and I'm tall, and I think that that causes men to attract to you, and I have a great personality. So I think every time I got um, attracted by an athlete, I've always been in sweats, I've never been dolled up. Mm -hmm. I've been at gas stations, I've been in 7-Elevens, just random places, but the experiences are somewhat the same. You know, you deal with people, thinking that you're just a groupie just because you're with this person, thinking you're just the bag chaser or what they call a gold digger, and that's not the case, you know? I find that really frustrating because here's why. When, when I hear people criticize women that date athletes, athletes are usually in really good shape, mm -hmm. attractive, yes. successful, healthy, not on drugs, mm -hmm. not crackheads because they have to perform. <laughs> have gone like, to college. Have gone to the mm -hmm. college educated. On paper, wouldn't that sound like the perfect guy? Like that's something that, why wouldn't the average woman be attracted to that? Right. So when women get criticized for that, I'm like, okay, that's like, you're criticizing them for dating a good-looking, wealthy, successful, healthy, all those things, and it seems like there's a lot of negative, you know, feelings toward and animosity towards women that date athletes. I think those are the girls that can't get the athlete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That are mad at the girls that do get the athletes because mm -hmm. I mean, you can't be mad at me that I chose to date someone that has a higher status or someone that has a career or is smart. Or like, would you rather me date someone that worked at 7-Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> right, why is it less noble? You know, it's more, I mean, it's no, more noble if you dated someone that's not in the league or not a player. Well, and, and a lot of men criticize women that do it as well. It's not just the women that are criticizing you, it's, it's yeah, also the I men. Think it's, I think social media has, has hyped it up as well. I mean, especially, you know, when you're dating someone, you know, in the league, they're getting followed, you know, the paparazzi, you're, so it's being seen all over. So, I mean, unless, you know, it's different from dating someone that has money or like someone that's, you know, wealthy, but not in the spotlight, mm -hmm. so. I mean, I've dated a guy that didn't have as much money. And I mean, it just depends on the personality, how he treats you, you know, because some of these guys, these athletes treat you like shit. Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to stand up for yourself because you don't want to be the girl that's just the, I guess, the little puppy dog that's just doing whatever they, you know, tell you mm -hmm. to do because you can get caught in that real quick. So you spoke mm -hmm. about some of the perks, the gifts, the traveling, the, the, the beginning of it is amazing, right? So, I mean, do you think that's kind of like the, the, the trade-off for some of the, the bad treatment? Do you think a lot of these men think that they can, they can do that because? Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are young as shit. Mm -hmm. They have a <laughs> lot of money mm -hmm. and, you know, they feel like, oh, you're not coming over tonight? What, you too busy? Oh, okay, next, on to the next. So you kind of, it makes you kind of want to be like, attentive mm -hmm. and you know kind of do what not what they say but kind of like you kind I don't know I feel like we didn't trust each other it was kind of like he was like what are you here for and I was like well what you doing out there mm -hmm. so it was like it's kind of hard to explain no no no, no, no. <laughs> I think that's a good thing that you you mentioned that you said we don't trust each other yeah. right of course I mean I'm 46 I've been around for a long time so <laughs> yeah. I, I've dated an athlete or two in my time and I remember thinking that this one guy was like the end all be all, like I thought he was like marriage material. I was like so in love and so into him. And he would tell his friends like, why would she want me? So underneath all that like bravado on the fields and everything, 
like in real life, he still was insecure. So like I, it was very like what you said just kind of hit home. Mm -hmm. There was like a lack of trust both ways. Yeah. And then you know they probably don't really believe that women really love them for them right. because of all the perceived you know perks. Of course. So then you don't really probably go deep in, into getting to know each other like you probably should. It's right. probably it's very kind surface. Of very surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. They much get the what baddest girl they can afford to be with, right? The or cutest they one that they could take out, mm -hmm. you know, and show off, and kind of like the trophy girlfriend and then you know well I dated a guy in high school and he was a football player and he went to USC and it was funny because I would go up to the college you know hang out have fun go to the parties and just have a ball you know mm -hmm. but at the same time in the back of my mind I'm like is he messing around with people right you know the cheerleaders mm -hmm. or just girls at the school doing your homework all day because you know sometimes athletes get away with murder. You mean like mm -hmm. not doing their own homework? That, yeah. that happens. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so you just find yourself like trying to understand why, or they're trying to understand themselves of like why you're dating them.